What you look to like? Why even play with your life? Bank account looking like yikes. Yeah. With, with me, me, boy. Put your hands in your fingers. Yo, ears with a Get back, watch you turn to a singer. Get to fighting like the Jerry Springer. All of my Zip the back that like a popo. No do these, they popo. Had a G-Rag and truck turned to Rojo. Find a cable to us and they Come on, down to Soho. One's black and the other was Mexican. Had a like a polo. Younger than you with a Maybach. Younger than you with a Bentley. Finna got in the Gently. Angry and friends with these when I was down, I'd have so had sympathy. Facts. But that's how I go when you broke. Facts. Now I'm not like Mr. Toe. This do my own. Not gonna lie on these new clones. Then she asked for a loan. Had the laugh, then I told her get gone. Go and get the on. And don't no give me not a thing. So I spend any can on my rain. You can see all my pain in my watch. Got my ex down and walking around with my hand on my Cause I'm popping and I know you're not. And I know you see just how I'm living. You're not happy with life, so you. Rockin' Reeboks on treetops, getting rock, got a big band, it's like Sasquatch. Every time you see it, with a b no, it's talking about. I got that chicken to go. A lot of these b look lost. They broke, they think it's my fault. No court. I want that b caught. I'm dripping, I'm stuck with the sauce. Good drip. But she love you, don't cut your b. Yeah, yeah, Reynolds and yeah, Vinci is white. Limited Louis, that's light. Rape right in the city, that's light. LED, look at the lights. We the ones that don't like. But you look through light. Why even play with your life? Bank account looking like yikes. The ops on IG all the time. I dare them go live. Waggle steak, I die. 8 ounce 255. I can't get funky with too groovy you me. If I had love for me, I would have tried to get Nicki Minaj. Jerry, I ain't gonna let you slide. Dory ain't gonna let you slide. You King of the city, I don't want to be a big fish in a small pie. And we welcome you to Lucas Oil Stadium, which opened back in 2008 here in the Circle City of Indianapolis, Indiana. Just as we were ready for air, it was the Colts emerging from the locker room to great fanfare here in Indy. They're ready to go as the Colts get set to match up with the Cincinnati Bengals. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. here on first down. Throw left side, complete to Ross. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Off the play fake to Mixon. This is Dalton. His throw incomplete. He was looking for Joe Mixon there out of the backfield. And it's third and five. I think we'll see more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. And before they can run this third down play, we're going to get a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Third play here this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Dalton here from the gun. That is hit, and Dalton lost the football. And the Colts pick it up. And they'll be at the 18-yard line. Great field position here in the red zone. Well, partner, they went empty set there. No backs in the backfield. All receivers out in the pattern. And in this situation, you know what the quarterback has to do? Act as his own blitz control. Yeah, he's got nobody else there to protect. No him. one else there to protect, which means he's got to get rid of the football and absorb the hit but not go down and fumble the ball. The Colts with a first red zone opportunity of the ball game. They have a first and 10 at the 18. Nine times his first carry. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. 
Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Hines. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. So they've been unable to capitalize on the great field position as of yet. Here's third and nine. Here's Locke. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And he will take it on out to the 20-yard line. Brandon, this is why golfers do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, they throw an interception, and they're going to come away empty. The Bengals the heading back out there, and last year, 7-9. and nine. So that meant back-to-back -back losing seasons for the first time since 2007-08. Now, they were able to knock off two teams late contending for the playoffs. They beat Detroit in Week 16, Baltimore Week 17, but I don't know that that's the silver lining since the fans are clinging to. No, not at all. And when you just kind of feel yeah, around this ball. team, you ball. sense a rebuild is in order. And that starts on offense. Offensive line, they've got some top-rated draft picks that have to play up to their potential to help out the quarterback, Andy Dalton. They need wide receiver John Ross to catch a football, didn't catch a single one as a rookie, and they need Tyler Eifert back in form at tight end after have some health issues. But on defense, brand new defensive coordinator, brand new structure, they need some of their better players like Carlos Dunlap to come forward and play well. They look to throw on third with Dalton. Got a man, it's Ross, complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 10 yards there on a Bengal first. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Go on the ball! On the ball! Now a play fake here on first down. That's taken in by the rookie, Josh Malone. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 38. Play action here with Dolan. Looking left side and he's got a man. It's Ross. No gain there on the completion. Second and ten. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Another chance for Dalton. And that one was nearly picked. Not sure he was accounting for the free safety. That brings up third down. Well, he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it. Just move on to the next play. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. Third down, a shot here for Dalton. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Ross. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him a first down. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season. They got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. And able to work his way down to the 16. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Power the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality and pound the rock. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Dalton sets up play action. And he is going to go down. He will be sacked on the final play on this first. 
Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, and it's the Bengals with a football to begin quarter number two. And they'll come up looking to keep this drive moving. It's second and goal back to the eight-yard line now. They'll give it to him up the middle. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. And that is incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes, you don't take the ball away, maybe that's the way they should look at it. The Colts offense, Charles heading out here, and this is a franchise that's hard to know what to make of them. You know, if they can keep number 12 out there, keep him healthy, you think they're going to be okay. Without him, though, it's really a completely different team, isn't it? It certainly is, and it feels like a complete makeover in order, and they're trying to get that done. But I remember when they drafted number 12, Andrew Luck, they were predicted to be a last place team. Instead, they went to the playoffs right out of the gate, first few years of his career. So to me, it comes all the way back to him, his health. If he's able to play all 16 and at a high level, the Colts are automatically transformed. They begin the drive with Hines, and he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. To throw on second down as well. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Seems like this defense, especially the secondary, has really been contesting about every throw in this first half. Remind me of a good half-court defensive basketball team. Every time a pass is thrown, they're right there in good, good defensive position, able to affect the play. Throwing on third down, Locke. He may try and run for this. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. And, partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. The Bengals getting set to go. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. So here's Dalton and the Bengals now, first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Dalton up, play action. Throw left side complete. That's Malone. And they're able to get this one across the 35. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. Go on the ball. On the ball. Play fake. Here's Dalton. And he fires one that's intercepted. Quincy Wilson with the INT. And a great return here gets this one all the way down to the 26-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team.
They run with Hines. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Jesse Bates made the tackle from his safety spot. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. to the 10. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Now that's the kind of run that fires up an entire team. Tackled at the two-yard line for the defensive guys. A little bit of a sigh of relief, though, that they stopped him short of the goal line. Now they got to figure out how to shore up the rest of the defense. Chased out left. That's got to feel good for Andrew Luck. His first touchdown pass since New Year's Day of 2017. As his guys have now moved out in front. Well, he scrambled outside of the pocket and wondered what was going to happen there. He fired a dart. That's what happened. He certainly did. Scrambled left, looked left, and then left it in the receiver's hands with some dispatch. In the receiver's hands, in the end zone for the score. Benatari connecting on the extra point, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll make it across the 20, as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. This offense trots back out there now, and as they do, Charles, one thing to point out that we saw a second ago are some of the new rules in the NFL this year regarding kickoffs. Yeah, nowadays, the kickoff team, no more running starts. Remember that when you, can, you got to circle a guy around, and here he goes? No more. You have to start, you know, close to the ball, and when it's kicked, then you get it. Oh, well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A minute 57 to go in this first half. We'll come back to Indianapolis right after this. Dalton, first and 10. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. So he can't hang on. And as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard. Maybe from you. I don't know. But you're going to get hit anyways. Might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player. Not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. On second down, here's Mixon. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Big Al Woods there to make the tackle. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. To throw on third down. Dalton throwing the out route incomplete. That's Ross. And he is out of bounds just a yard or two shy of the 30. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. Now Dalton with a first and ten, eluding the pressure right. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. Second and ten. Dalton once more. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Ross. And down inside the 15 he goes. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. Andy Dalton now. Ten of 16 throwing the football. It's first and ten. Dalton operating in the red zone now. This will be caught at about the five. 
And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Tyler Eifert from 13 yards out. And the Bengals are in for six. And this one through the uprights and good. Bullock out now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. On the right side, it's Hilton with a catch. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Andrew Billings. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. going to burn the second of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. From the gun, here's Love. This is Love. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. T.Y. Hilton as the first half is winding down. And the Colts are in for six. It's no good. And that will keep this a three-point game. Vinatieri out there to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Passing again, Dalton on second and 10. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Ross. And he'll go out of bounds across the 35-yard line. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. A first down throw coming for Dalton. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. The final act of the first half. Dalton over the middle. That's caught by Ross. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. A final shot before break. Dalton, he's going to air it out deep for Green. And that is out of the back of the end zone incomplete. 
So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll check in for the first time with the newest member of our Madden family, it's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Out come the Colts. They'll have it first here to start quarter number three. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's see if they do just that. Buying time with now a hit and lock. Lost the football. It's out. On plays like this when the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, right, a go, teammate go. is able to come up with the ball. Here's Hines. No, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle him. Able to shake free for about seven up to the 35. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Now it's Hines. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence, and you're right. They need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. going to go as a loss of two and it'll be second down. They'll try the air now with Locke. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 35. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. How about the big boys snagging one? You don't see that every week. No, you don't, but a lot of them are just reliving their old dreams, going back to when they were in youth football and in high school. They didn't always play defensive line. Some of them actually handled the football, and you can see the flashback when he grabbed that one. 5-0, Their D gets the INT. Now what can Dalton do? Steps away to his left. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So the illegal forward pass also costs him a down. And now it's second and long. After the penalty, it's Mixon. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. Wasn't that long ago that the NFL guys really didn't adopt much from the college game. But one thing that has crept in there is spreading things out, opening things up, not even just in tempo, but maybe getting better line splits and spreading the field. I think that would be a great strategy right now to try to open things up in the run game. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. 
A good pick up there, seven yards, but it brings up fourth down. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. So they come away from this opening drive of the third quarter with only three, but it does draw them even. Yeah, and that has to be job one, doesn't it? A touchdown definitely would have been nice. We know that. But here, you get back on even terms, and now you've got most of the second half to try and get yourself into a position to win. Now the Colts offense gets ready to head back on the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete, and he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. This is Hines. And an alley to run. He finds an opening past the 40. He's at the 40. Past the 20. 10. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Naeem Hines with his first career touchdown in his first career game. And the Colts have broken our tie as they take the lead. Terry able to tack on the PAT and they will take a seven point lead. Vinatieri out there to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. He got 29 yards that time. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes, just runs past people. Sometimes you get people to back up. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it. It's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is, because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Underneath, this is Bernard. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Give him three on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Go on the ball! the gun. It's Dalton. Forced out to his left. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Terrell Basham able to finally get him for a loss of 16. And it's going to lead to a fourth down. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Bengals. They've got the football, but they trail here as we get rolling in quarter number four. Here's Kevin Huber now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. The Colts now, their offense works their way back onto the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Just week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on. And this one no different as we come up on a first and ten. 
Here's a handoff to Hines to begin the drive. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. It was Jordan Evans making the play defensively. Well, Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, this is my theme of Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. The Colts on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and eight. A shotgun snap for Love. Hard throw, incomplete. And not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game the this ball. close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. First and ten for Dalton. That's complete. Bernard. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 35. It's a gain of 13, and the Bengals have a first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. 5-0, 5-0, They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. To throw here, Dalton. Room here to run. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he will score. Touchdown to Indianapolis. Oh, that's about as tough as they come. You're driving to try to put the ball in the end zone and tie the game, and that happens. It's exciting for us, wasn't it? Because we were thinking, hey, we might be headed towards overtime. Instead, it looks like this one may very well be done. And guess what? If you're a fantasy owner and you have that defense, you just had a big, big game, didn't you? So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. So now the Bengal offensive unit back out onto the field. So here's Dalton and the Bengals now, first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Dalton right back on the horse after the pick six. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. Terrell Basham in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. A nice pick up there, 19 yards. And they're set up better for third. And the Bengals on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. Here it's third and three. Dalton here from the gun. Dancing to his left. And he's going to have to eat this when his daddy goes. Jabal Sheard in there to record another sack. Their sixth of the afternoon. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. 
As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Nate Hairston, and they will take over possession of the football at their 42-yard line. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games, and now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt, and in a big way. Good starting field position for the Colts as they have it first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Hines. And across midfield he goes and into Bengal territory. It's a gain of eight, and it's going to take us to the two-minute warning. Time for a break. We'll come back to wrap this one up after this. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. I've got an idea. Let's skip racing to the airport at the end of this game. Let's go to the post-game press conference. I have a feeling that the quarterback of this winning team is going to be giving a whole lot of credit to the running game and the offensive line. Yeah, I was just going to say the offensive line, yes, carrying the ball has been key, but those guys up front, they've made a lot of space. of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. And now the Bengals are going to call another timeout as they'll talk it over here before what'll be an important third down. Two right. Hey, hey, hey. You got check up. Why? To throw is long. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily that you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball. And got his man complete. And he'll go out of bounds across the 35-yard line. And give him a gain of 37. Go on the ball. Well, it's one on thing to grab it with one hand, but when you make a catch of that distance, quite another. Yes, sir. I mean, that one right there. We keep talking about the high-flying antics that we're seeing from this. It's caught inside the 25. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A gain of 39 that time. Go on the ball. On the ball. 83. On first and 10, here's Andy Dalton. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. Definitely desperation time. This just looks like, hey, throw it down there. Hope that your guy can make a play. You want him to make a play, but if not, maybe you get a pass interference call. And you know in the NFL, that's a spot foul. You get all that yardage. That would be a big play. Off the play fake to Mixon. This is Dalton. 
His throw caught at about the five. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. In for the score. And the Bengals able to get this back within a touchdown. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And... I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. They go down to a knee, and the new campaign off to a good start. It's a win here in week one. And partner, this first week, this first game that we get to call together, so special every year week one you had the fly over the big american flag out there before the game all the hoopla just having football back so special it is an opening day opening game there's just nothing like it because you really build to a crescendo but the best part for us is that crescendo lasts for a while opening game here an entire season we get into the playoffs to the super bowl i was really excited i could barely sleep last night i can't imagine being a player so for Indianapolis, it was a hard-fought game, and they'll exit 1-0 as they win by a touchdown. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Washington Redskins. Meanwhile, for Cincinnati, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll be at home for one next week as the Baltimore Ravens come to town. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.